Good afternoon. I'm Sarah from the National Weather Service in Milwaukee, and I'm going to talk to you today about the winter outlook that was released this morning by our counterparts at the Climate Prediction Center. So, recently, La Nina conditions have started to develop, and the forecasters at the Climate Prediction Center think that this La Nina will develop into a full La Nina this winter. So, what does La Nina mean? Basically, La Nina means that there are cooler than average sea surface temperatures, so ocean temperatures, in the Pacific along the equator. So in this low period, you can see that orange areas are where there are above average temperatures, and the blue areas are where there are below average temperatures. And toward the end of this loop, you can see the areas of blue are starting to develop along the equator. So those are the La Nina conditions that we're watching. And what that means is, for the United States, because the ocean and the atmosphere are linked together, that what happens in the Pacific here is linked to what happens in the United States. So what are we talking about for this winter? Basically, across the southern part of the United States, there's increased chances for above average temperature. And across the northern part of the country, there's increased chances for below average temperatures. Now Wisconsin here is in the white area, and you can see that EC here means equal chances. So what that means is there are equal chances for below average temperature, equal chances for above average, and near average temperatures. So really what that's saying is there's no real signal one way or the other for our temperature this, this winter right now. And then looking at the precipitation outlook, Across the southern third of the country, there are increased chances for below average precipitation. Across the northern third, and including much of the Ohio Valley, are increased chances for above average precipitation. And Wisconsin is included in this area with about a 35 to 40 percent chance for above average precipitation for the December, January, and February timeframe. Now, what this does not necessarily mean is that we'll be seeing more snowfall. This is an outlook for liquid and snow precipitation combined into one. So we still may have some heavy snow days, we may get some days of rainfall, but what this is showing is that for the winter season as a whole, we'll be seeing above average precipitation, winter at, or precip liquid and snow precipitation. So that's a quick rundown of the new winter outlook released for this winter. So thanks for joining us.